Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule is how we work with limits that result in specific types of indeterminate forms. If you haven't seen our video on what indeterminate forms are, that'll be linked here. Check it out and come back here when you're ready. So L'Hopital's rule says, if we have two functions, f and g, which are differentiable, and if we try to take the limit as x goes to a of f of x over g of x, and that results in either of the indeterminate forms, either 0 over 0, or positive or negative infinity over positive or negative infinity, then that original limit is equal to the limit as x goes to a of f prime over g prime. So the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. Now it's really important here that we note this is not the same as the quotient rule. We are not taking the derivative of the quantity f of x over g of x. If we did that, we would need to use our quotient rule. We are taking the derivative of the numerator independently of the derivative of the denominator. So let's see it in action. Here we want to evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of pi x over x. So first let's go ahead and try to see what happens if we evaluate at 0. So that would give us the sine of pi times 0 over 0. That would be the sine of 0 over 0. And from our unit circle we know the sine of 0 is 0. So we get one of our indeterminate forms. That means we can go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. I'm just going to write LH here to indicate that that's what I'm doing. So that means our original limit would be equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of, here first we want to take the derivative of sine pi x. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine pi x and then multiplying by pi for our chain rule. In the denominator, we want to take the derivative of x. Well, that's just 1. So here, just rewriting to simplify a bit, we have the limit as x goes to 0 of pi times the cosine of pi x. So now we go ahead and try to evaluate again. So here, evaluating at 0, we get pi times the cosine of pi times 0. Well, that is pi times the cosine of 0. From our unit circle, we know that the cosine of 0 is 1, so this is just pi times 1, or pi. So by L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x goes to 0 of sine pi x over x is pi. Okay, let's check out a few more. Here we have the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the 1 over x minus 1 all over 1 over x. Let's start off trying to evaluate. Let's see what happens. If we have e to the 1 over infinity, or we're thinking through this, over 1 over 1 over something going to infinity, then that would be, well, let's see. 1 over something going to infinity, that would be like having e to the 0. And again, here's 1 over something going to infinity would behave like 0. So e to the 0 is 1. So again, we get that 0 over 0 indeterminate form. That tells us we should use L'Hopital's rule. So here we go. Our original limit will be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of, once again here we'll take the derivative of the numerator independently, e to the 1 over x. Our derivative there will be e to the 1 over x times the derivative of 1 over x, which is negative 1 over x squared, minus the derivative of 1 is just 0, so we can leave that off. Next, we'll put the derivative of the denominator, 1 over x, which is again negative 1 over x squared. Oftentimes, you're going to notice you're going to want to simplify where you can. So here, I have a factor of negative 1 over x squared in the numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out. And now, I'll have the limit as x goes to infinity 
of e to the 1 over x. Evaluating as x goes to infinity, this would be like having e to the 1 over something going to infinity, which is like e to the 0 or 1. So our original limit by L'Hopital's rule is equal to 1. Here again with our next one, limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of x over 5x. This would be like evaluating the natural log at infinity from our knowledge of the graph. We know that that goes off towards infinity. And of course, 5 times something going off towards infinity would result in infinite over infinite. So here we have that second type of indeterminate form that L'Hopital's rule takes care of. I'm going to go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule, and my original limit will now be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of my derivative for ln x is 1 over x over my derivative for 5x is 5. So here, if I evaluate now, I'll have something 1 over something going to infinity over 5. In terms of limits, we know 1 over something going towards infinity behaves like 0, so 0 over 5 goes to 0. So our original limit, the limit as x goes to infinity of ln x over 5x, goes to 0. All right, and our last example, let's check this one out to see how L'Hopital's rule sometimes has to be repeated. So here, as x goes to infinity, thinking about end behavior for x squared on the right-hand side, we know that increases without bound, so it goes off to positive infinity. Same thing here, e, as we go to positive infinity in the x direction, we increase without bound, so we again go to positive infinity. So we've got that indeterminate form here that clues us in that we should use L'Hopital's rule. So our original limit will be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of my derivative for x squared will be 2x and my derivative for e to the x will be e to the x. So now evaluating this limit as x goes to infinity, end behavior for 2x is again increasing without bound. And just like before, end behavior for e to the x as x goes to infinity is increasing without bound. So notice here, L'Hopital's rule did not get rid of the indeterminate form. It just resulted in an indeterminate form again. When that occurs, we just use L'Hopital's rule again. So repeat. Here we'll have the limit as x goes to infinity of, now we'll take the derivative of 2x, which will be 2, over the derivative of e to the x, which will be e to the x. Once again, evaluating here, the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 is 2, and the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x, right hand end behavior, goes towards infinity. Now we have one of our determinant forms, a non-zero constant over something approaching infinity, so we know that that goes to zero. So with two iterations of L'Hopital's rule here, we get that our original limit is equal to zero. All right, guys, that does it for this first video on L'Hopital's rule. We'll catch you in the next one.